Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Island Exotics and uh, I hope you enjoy the video today. I hope you give me a like, subscribe, comment and share if you can. Uh, but I think the first thing to do, I literally just came in to see half the lights then on, I've uh, we've got to check on the bird. So uh, I think I'm hoping he's going to be doing okay. Oh, no, he's not in that. Oh, he's right up there. He's found a little ledge to sit on up there. Oh, calm down. So we'll cover, we'll cover that up because we don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. So uh, I'm going to try and find something bigger to put him in today. So then um, we can sort him out, get him in something bigger. And uh, I was searching last night trying to find something bigger to put him in. But uh, if, you, if anyone knows of anything, let me know. Um, we can sort him out, find something bigger to put him in. Look who's out and about this morning. Crocodile skink. I need to top up his, uh, his, his waterfall because I can hear it gargling. Yeah, he's doing really well. Got a nice bit of weight on him. I'll feed him today with some crickets, see if he wants to eat. Or if he's going to wait and eat him on the night when he's on his own. And I've got to clean his glass as well. Yeah, he's doing really well. He's usually out in the mornings and on the night. What a stunning little creature. So I, uh, I've been searching for a, ta a cage for the bird. Can't find one. So my idea is to make one. Because the ones on there, they're tiny little tiny things like this. I'm like, I can't be doing putting them in that. So we've got a nice big box here that I can convert into a little tank for him. I'm going to cut a big door in it, and that's going to be his door. So I think he's kicking off in there because it's glass and birds, you know what birds are like with glass, they just fly into it. So uh, my idea is so we can have a mesh door, and then we've got this so we can have a perch going all the way through. So, uh, I think that'll be okay. You know, I'm not an expert on birds, but I'm trying my best. But yeah, we'll um, we can do that. He can have his food in there. He can have his water in there. And uh, fingers crossed, he'll settle down a bit more, and he'll be a bit more happier then. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing this. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, I don't mess it up. So first job is I'm going to draw around this so I know what sort of size hole. I've got to bring Will out, so we've laid it down. I'm just going to get a slight line around it, so uh, we get a, a little idea of what we're working with. Oh, I moved it, and we can go from there then. So I've done my little square, as you can see, going around. My idea is to cut about oh, about that far in, all the way around. So I've got a good lip as a seal. And then uh, I'll try and find a way of making some hinges for the door. And then uh, I'll try and figure out a way of making a lock. And then, uh, yeah, I think we can then put the hole in for the perch. So I'm going to put somewhere around here probably, a hole in for the perch. And then, yeah, I think we should be laughing then. We can put him in and he'll have a much bigger cage to chill out in. So we're going to try and cut this now without cutting ourselves. Ooh. So I don't want to get cut. But it's hard to do with one hand. To be fair, I'm doing it a lot slower than what I would be, so it's probably going to be a lot neater. So we about perfect there. So, uh, my first cut, we've got to go along this edge, up this edge, and across that one, and then I can pop it out for you. Whee! So, there we go, there's our nice hole. Got my nice little piece out. Might be able to use that for something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's the start. Some bits of stuff in there, we'll have to get that out. But, uh, yeah, coming along slowly. Get it nice and oh, I wonder. Did you slide up? That's part of it. Part of it. I was hoping I could slide them up and have them as perches, but no, we'll have to use the wood. So I'm gonna do my wood perch now, and then um, we'll do the door. So uh, that's what we'll have, and then we can open it up, and so on and so forth. I think he'd be a lot. Look at that. 
twice as much room to chill out. Yeah, I think that's the better answer. So we'll uh, crack on with our building. Okay, so we're gonna try and do the door now. So uh, I'm literally putting little slots in, then I'm gonna use pull ties. I did think about using these, but I'd have to put a block on the other side, and I didn't fancy doing that. So I've already done a test on uh, some of the cardboard, so I know it will, it will work. So uh, I'm trying my best now to put a nice slit in here without doing that. I didn't want to do that. So it's a nice slit. I didn't want to go all the way through. So this side here has got all these jagged bits, it's going to be uneven opening the door. This side's nice and smooth, so I'm going to use that side as the hinge side. So I want it hot because it's going to drop down onto, so if I've got it in there like this, it's not going to be there, it's going to float up to this bit, so I've got to constant, I've got to know it's going to drop a bit, so I need to work out the best way to do that without it dropping. Thinking that's going to be the best one, like that. So I think we go in from the back. Like so. Then we're going to go through. Two. I want a nice big hinge. I'll push it through first. That's nice and tight. So I need a good bit of slack on it to get the full turn. Mm. So I might not do that. I might do just the one. test. I pushed it in again. That's a lot better. I like that a lot more. So we've gone a bit too wide so I'll take it out again. Always best to test what you're doing first because you never know what's going to happen. And once you've done it, there's no going back with cardboard. So I'm happy with that now. And we'll put the other one in. Set it up again from the inside. There we go. So we end that one like that. And then we want to go through this one. tie them up now. Look at that, see it's already holding it up and that's just me knocking it up. So I'll we'll pull tie them up, we we'll find a little way of doing a little latch for it and then yeah I think we're laughing. I think we'll be, uh, we've got to sort out the lid. I might put another bit, I might put a big piece of mesh in on the lid so we've got a bit of light coming through and then yeah I think we're, we're doing well coming along. Uh, it's not permanent, it's just something for now because I can't find anything big enough for sale to put him in. So uh, this will do for now. We perch about there. Mark round it. And then we actually know where to cut. We can go straight through. And then we have a perch. Oh, it should be good, should be good. So what I might do is just do a cross. Uh, it's not going to work, I'm going to have to pause it, I can't do it with one hand. So you can see I've done a cross, 
the idea is we can push it through the cross and get it in. So I'm going to try and do it so you can see. So we'll just be literally in a bigger cross. Bigger cross. Uh, we're literally just pushing it through. Uh, we're at the other side. So there we go, we've got the perch inside now. That's what we're looking like. So I think that's going to be a reasonable little cage for him. So uh, this has got to come out if we don't like this. And then I think I'm going to try. I think this is taped from the other side, so I'm happy with that. I don't want tape in there because I don't want him to get stuck to anything with this, with the, uh, what's it called? But I might try and get some glue and glue that down there like that so we don't have any problems. So I've added in my window. This is, an, is a cover for one of the domes. And uh, I've pushed it through, just a spare one I had. And then uh, the little clasps that you'd have to catch it in the side, I've just bent them over. So then uh, it cooks onto the cardboard. So we've got a little window. That'd be cool. Try and make it as nice as possible for them. These are all glue in now. My idea is maybe cut little boxes out of them and then I can have little pots in there with this food and water in. But uh, it's all ideas at the moment. I'm going to try and get some tissue in there as well. So this is what you can do with dry ice. How cool is that? <laughs> Don't do what I do, just watch and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, dry ice that comes in with me frozen. Yeah, very, very rarely we'll have a little play. We'll drop it in some stuff. Halloween's usually the time I do do it. We try and keep some pieces in the fridge so it's so often we can drop it in and we have this effect. But, uh,. It's gone. It's gone. It's literally dry ice. Woo! The water's on fire. A little bit of science for you. What's happening there is called sublime. It's from something going from frozen to a gas without going to a liquid in the middle. So it's quite rare for that stuff to happen. But yeah, so it's really cold, you get it really warm really quick, will instantly turn into, into a gas. It's called sublime. Something a little bit different for you? the door on and what I've done is for the lock it's got a little bit of wire around here I untie and then the door opens and then we can shut the door wrap that around there look at that proper little jobber so now I've got to do something with the lid because I want some light coming in so if I do that it's a lot lighter inside. So I don't know whether to sort something out with these so I can just have like maybe a mesh over the top of here. So uh, my next job is to try and sort something out with the lid. So I've literally just cut these two sides off, the two flaps. So now I've just got that when it's closed. So my idea is to cut a strip out of them so I can have a nice beam of light coming through through here. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though. Um, so I'd have to, I'd have that much light coming through on the top, well I can, how dark are we? Let's, let's do an example, let's open the back half and let's see what it's like. I mean it's reasonably light in there. 
I think he'd prefer light at the back, dark at the back, light at the front. Uh, yeah, I think he'd prefer dark at the back. So, maybe have a beam of strip of it here. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of some other things to do. So I've added another window, and this is what we've got for the vent at the top. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so it's quite light in there now. So we uh, undo our little lock. And then, yeah. And the vent in the top. Two windows. Arch, right, I've got to, all these are getting trimmed now. I'm going to go around and trim all these off. And then, yeah, I think we're ready for the bird. These are all dry now, so I can take these out. I haven't got to worry about them. They're nice and solid in place. So my idea was to cut little group squares out so I could put them in boxes with food in. But I can do that at another point. But I'm going to get some cardboard under or some, some things so I can put a little sheet or something down so we don't damage the bottom of this. And then, yeah, we can uh, put the bird in in a minute. So I think I'm finished. And I do know he can probably chew his way out of this box if he's in there long enough. So we've got my little handle on there. We're going to do that's my lock. We can open my door. We've got a perch there with a window. We've got his top vent. We've got a perch there with a window. I think, and we've got some, some tissue paper in there, so if he poos, we can get it out. I think that's not too bad for knocking it out, out of a box. I think that's quite good. So, uh, I'll get his food and his water, and then we can shut the door and try and get him in, see what he does. So we've got the shop door closed. The idea now is to try and get him and uh, put him in the cage. Come here, buddy. Come jump on my finger. Put the torch on for you. Come on, mate. Oh, he landed on my hand. That was a good boy. Jump on my finger. Jump on my finger. Good boy. Oh, he almost came on my hand then. Come on, buddy. You okay, buddy? We got him there. There we go. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Look how stunning he is. Trying to bite me. There you go, buddy. On your perch. Look at that. What a happy little birdie. Look at that. I think he's going to be much happier in there. He's got his food. He's got his water. I think he's happy as Larry, eh? Hey? I'll turn my little torch off. Who's chirping? You can look at him in the little window. I think that's a lot better. A lot better. So we put my little lock on. There we go. You can come home with me now. Look at that. Using the perch I put for him. Hello, mate. How you doing? Do you like your new little cage? Or um, habitat, or whatever we call it. Hopefully we can find you a nice aviary. You can come home with me tonight and I'm going to look after you. Well, we've finished the budgie cage, which is nice. So uh, that's what we've got here. So there he is. So uh, we've got two little windows. One on either end. He's got a little roof window. And he's completely concealed at the back and he's got two perches. So he's got a lower one and he's got that higher one up there. So uh, I think we've got a happy birdie, so I know he could probably chew out of that. 
but it's only temporary. Um, the cages that I could see on the internet were, were smaller than these wooden ones. So I'm not putting a bird in something smaller than that. So I mean, I added in there overnight in that, just that was just because there was nowhere else for it to go. But um, at least now she's in something twice the size, twice as big. She even had a little fly around and then managed to land back down on the perch. So that was good as well. So uh, ideal world, we'd have her in a proper aviary, but uh, we can't just magic up an aviary. We've got to make plans and make one and so on and so forth. So if we're keeping it, it looks like we've got to build an aviary. But uh, if you find its owner or something else happens, we can, we can go from there. But yeah, he's all set up, ready to go. And I don't know where my order is, so I'm going to have to ring the suppliers to see where my order is. So we're meant to be getting that today. All right, everybody, well, we, uh, we've got the budgie all set up, built him a tank. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. I really didn't. I thought, well, we'll have a go, see what we can make out of a box. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if it wasn't cardboard, I'd be really, really, really happy. But uh, I mean, we got away with it. He seems happy. He's a lot more settled down than he was in that tank because he's got a perch. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with that now. Uh, I'm still waiting on my crazy delivery of all my wood and stuff like that, so uh, I think I'm going to stick that on another video so we can have a, um, a budget rescue cage build and then um, we can have a delivery for another day or a bit of filler video or something like that. So uh, yeah, if you want to watch another video of mine, there should be a box there and if you want to subscribe to my channel, there should be a circle up there. We're uh, ticking up slowly now with subscribers and I appreciate it very much. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.